show and welcome to the Barn Burner TV Network on Zinco TV channel 250. Please remember to download both the Barn Burner and Zinco TV apps in their respective app stores on iOS and Android devices. While you download, make sure to rate and leave a comment. Both apps are free. Zinco TV is also available on Google Chromecast, Amazon Fire and Fire TV Sticks, Ruko and Ruko Sticks, also on all smart TVs 2016 forward. And tonight I have vocalist, musician, songwriter, producer, brother of also vocalist Nikisha Lindo and son of the legendary producer Willie Lindo. Please help me welcome Kashifa Lindo. How are you doing? Hey, I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Thank you so much for being on the show. Yeah. I'm Pleasure to have, pleasure to be here. Thank you for Aww, having Oh, you're so sweet. No, <laughs> I've been looking forward to this and I'm so excited to have you on the show because I know you do not do interviews a lot. <laughs> so, <laughs> trust me, when you were going to come on the show, that uh, I, I I appreciate it. I really, really do. Oh, no problem. It's absolutely an honor to have you on the show. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> and first, before we get into anything... I know it was your birthday yesterday, so happy belated birthday. Uh, yeah, thank you. <laughs> and thank you. Not only does he talk like Michael Jackson and sing a bit like Michael Jackson, uh -huh. he also shares the same birthday as Michael mm -hmm. Jackson. I know he's one of your idols, so what's what's the odds of that? Isn't that weird? I, I guess if you want to call it that. I <laughs> <laughs> So what I want to talk about, I mean, we only got an hour. I hope I can fit in your journey in an hour. But what mm -hmm. I really want to talk about first is um, your current projects that you have out right now. Okay, yeah. Um, latest project I have out now um, for myself is um, an EP I did titled, um, uh, uh, was it Justice, A Conscious Journey? Um, yeah. It has six title tracks. And um, I did a follow-up single um, titled Human Life. So that, those are the two latest things I have out right now. Okay, and till them burn the house down? That was another one. Yeah, I, I actually released that before the EP. So, so that was pretty much an introduction to the EP. <laughs> yeah, I like, I like the track Just Another Question. I play that one uh, a lot. <laughs> yeah. <That's laughs> you really grabbed me. I, I know. <laughs> Yeah, man. I, I have my favorite songs. I mean, you have, correct me if I'm wrong, 12 albums? Yes, 12. Wow, wow. Like, you say it like, yeah? No, 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 I'm not. <laughs> yeah, no, it's 12. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my goodness. I have my favorite songs that I play on my show. I like If You Want To. Uh, okay. <laughs> that one, I rinsed that one out. And oh, now wow. I'm on to another one. I know it's an older one. Let mm -hmm. me give you love. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And another one I really like is Music is a Part of Me. Yeah, that's a nice yeah. one. I think it's the lyrics of the, of the songs. But I mean, gosh, you have so many. We'll go down that, of course. But I want to talk about your journey in the industry from young days. Mm-hmm. Just being uh, how how you got into it. I mean, yes, of course, your father's Willie Lindo and your sister's Nakisha Lindo. Yes. Uh, hi, guys. <laughs> and, uh, you know, who says doesn't mean all the time when you have a father or a sister or anybody in the industry doesn't mean you're going to follow in those footsteps. So I want to talk to you about just starting at a young age, how it all came about. Um, Pretty much since I was born, um, I always was at you know at the studios with my father 90 something percent of the time you know and even at times I want to go badly he wouldn't let me go <laughs> I would cry <laughs> but for the most part um I practically grew up grew up in the studios my second home you know and it, it just kind of happened where um um Barris and my father they're writing one of the songs I'm, I'm trying to remember if it was Irie and Miller or one of those songs um at the time and you know, and it, and you know, at times it does happen when you, you know, if you don't record it on something to remember it, you know, you, you'll forget it. Yeah. So they heard me, um, probably like three or four at the time. Um, they said I was humming the entire thing from top to bottom. So it so. just started off from there, you know. And then oh. I did my first song at um, age five. 
So you should have get some writer credits for that. No. <laughs> <laughs> talk to them. Talk to right? them. I'm going to talk to both of them. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it's funny that you say that because my son will do that. Like my really? old son is into music, the bigger one. And, he, right. and then I always say that um, when the kids walk away humming it, it's going to be a good song because he would hear mm -hmm. one line and then be humming it. And I'm like, right. how do you catch so fast, right? So mm -hmm. that's kind of funny. So yeah. after that, like you were born in Jamaica, correct? Yes. And then you came to the States, yes. um, New yeah. York or I left, Florida? Left, I left at an early age, went to New York, and then okay. went to Florida after. Okay. So then did you, okay, when was the first time that you, you said you were young, three, four, humming a song, but when did you do your first recording? I was at age five. I did my very wow. first single. Yeah, a lot of people don't know that. Yeah. Wow. Five. Some okay. some do, yeah. but not a lot. Yeah. <laughs> okay, hold on a second. Tell me that if this is right. Is it live with love? Yes. That's the so is that why you always say live with love? Uh, well mainly right just based on what, mainly based on what it says. Live with yeah. it. <laughs> you know. So tell me how that song came about. Uh my father wrote it. I don't remember the whole process of it. I just remember going in the booth to sing it and that was it. And then we shot a, we shot a video for it. Yeah. Yeah. Was Barris involved with that song at all or no? Um, not a hundred. I'm not sure. I don't, I'm, I don't think so. No. Don't quote me on it, but I'm not, I'm not hundred percent sure. Oh, okay. So you record at five. So how did that go? Did it, did it kick off? big things or it was just like I mean okay. it at that time I didn't know what was going yeah. on like that you know it was just on I remember seeing it on vinyl and I had a a promo picture with no two front teeth <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, oh, oh mommy and daddy didn't tell you don't smile <laughs> <laughs> well my finger no, was blocking it my finger was blocking it that's too funny too cute <laughs> So then after that, what was going on for you? Um, I did a second single um, called You're Gonna Need Me. I was, I was also like two, two years after I did the first one, I, I released that or a cover, You're Gonna Need Me. I did that. And then um, afterwards, you know, coming to Florida now, um, when my father, um, you know, decided to build his own studio, um, that's when I got back into recording again, because after that, you know, I didn't do anything after that, really. So it was then now when we came to Florida, now things started to to pick up, you know, for me. OK, so during this time, before you started doing anything solo for yourself, like you said, you did some cover stuff. But were you working with your father beside your father, like producing any artists at that young age or not yet? No, 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 no. I, it was just it was just me with my dad. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. So you said that was young and then you did some cover songs and then what was next? Well, um, no, I, I only did one cover. You're going to need me at the time. And then after that, um, my dad was writing some songs for me and, um, I had one, one song that did pretty well. Um, go reggae, reggae was the title. Okay. And then, um, I did a few other singles and then, I told me to sing first cut and lo and behold <laughs> that became a, a huge thing I didn't realize how big it was until I performed it for the first time in New York at um Trafalgar Square okay. and um yeah that was big <laughs> I didn't know how big it was until until that day I performed that song Wow, that's your basically your signature. I mean, you have a few, but that song mm -hmm. is would you say is your signature song? That, that is that is the popular song. It and yeah. another song. I'll get to that <laughs> later. Yeah. So how one. old do you remember how old you were when you did first cut? I was very young. Yeah. <laughs> I was very young. Yeah. But you know what? It's funny. Um, I was watching verses with Beanie Man and Bounty Killer, and I heard the sound guys drop first cut. Yeah, I, I was like. Well, I was like, when I heard it, I was like, it just shows you how far music can go. And just the fact True. that, did you know that it played that day on there? 
Did you? Well, I was gearing up to watch it, but I caught on to it too late. And then my phone was ringing like crazy saying, Kashif, they played first cut. They played first cut on the Bean and Bounty Clash. I was like, really? Yeah. So I was like trying to do everything to get in and sign on, but I caught it too late. But then someone sent me a, a clip of it. Um, Richie D, big up to Richie D, you know? Yeah. So, um, for playing it, man. So I, I felt, I got chills when I heard it. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, it just shows you like it's such, it's been around the song for so long. And then you hear it drop there. It's like good music can mm -hmm. die, basically, you know? So no, it lives just, on. I mean, when I heard it and I saw, like, you see how many people watch it, and I'm like, what? Right. That's, that's big, you know? No, it's huge. But I, I love them, them old time tunes. That's me. I'm an old school girl. So it was nice to hear that. Yep. I'm like, hey, he's coming on my show. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell you no lie. I was like, yeah. Because <laughs> like I said, again, I don't see you do a lot of interviews. So again, um, thank you so much for being on the show again. I won't stop no saying problem. that. No problem. I appreciate it. Yeah. So then after that, you said you, um, I wanted to ask you like to get off a topic. You, like I said, don't do a lot of interviews, but I also don't see you out there a lot performing, but yet you still stay current. How do you manage to keep up that way? Um, oh, you mean, um, or oh, not being seen so much? Yeah, like you're not out there all the time, but yet you're still, people know, like you're dropping stuff, but you always, you're not everywhere and out there, but you're still current. Like, well, I mean, feel about that. No, well, um, with that, we know we just always continue to put out um, product, you know? Every yeah. Time, you can't stop putting out something. So even though you don't see me, but you'll hear me. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's you know? what I mean. I'm, I'm saying that because I want my viewers to know you might not see you, but you're out there and you're doing right. stuff and it's, it's being played on air, but you're not on every flyer and right. performing. Right. So it's possible for an artist to be relevant and right. current and still not all about the place. Right. Yeah. And you're you know. you're proof of that. That's, uh, that's why I brought that up. Oh, yeah. No, um, just stay consistent. You know, yeah. and try to put out something, you know, sometimes you might slip and not put something out for a little bit, but for the most part, we, you know, we stay pretty consistent in putting out products, yeah. our own products. But do you not perform that often is because you just pick and choose where you want to be on and what venues? Um, that, that plays a role as well. Cause, um, you know, for every artist, not every single show artist is going to go on. It has to fit with you. You know, yeah. and um, just depends on who's on the show and things like that. So many, many things playing, playing to roll with that, you know, so. Yeah, I mm -hmm. remember, yeah, it actually made me laugh uh, one time years ago, somebody said I should go on Sting and I said, you mad, you I'm about to play <laughs> Tommy. I'm okay, I'm good over here. <laughs> I did Sunsplash, don't mean I belong on Sting. No, it can't work. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh my gosh, oh. that's funny. So, how does it feel to you? I mean, like a lot of people say that yourself and myself, I've grown up with a lot of the elders around me in the industry, but how does it feel for you as the artist, being amongst everybody that passes through the studio and most of them are so well-seasoned artists? How does it feel young coming up and being able to be amongst them and learn from them? Um, it's a blessing to tell you. Um, it's a true blessing. Um, I'm very humble with that. And even till this day, you know, veterans that I um that I'm around is still doing what they do, my father included, and just to see them um vibing against you know one one another, and yeah. um you know I, I just sit and observe. I do a lot of observing, you know, and pay attention. So no matter how long I've been in this business, you're never too old to learn. You always learn something new every time, you know. Yeah. So I give thanks for that every day. And I, and I love um, when we reason, you know, that's my favorite part of, you know, being around them is, is you know, we talk, you know, sometimes we'll talk foolishness, which is good foolishness. <laughs> good break. Yeah, I'll be serious all the time. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I know, I know what you mean. But yeah. since we can't leave it out, like your dad is a legendary producer, Willie Lindo. Mm -hmm. um, tell, tell my viewers some of the hits that your dad has worked on and artists. Yes. Um, he worked with uh, Boris Gardner. Uh, he had a big, big hit um, uh, titled, I Want to Wake Up With You. That was a major hit. 
um, Barry Simon, uh, he wrote and produced um, what, one, what One Dance Can Do and the follow-up to that, She Loves Me Now, which was very big for Barry's. Um, Dennis Brown, Inseparable Album, he produced that project. Wow. Um, Maxi Priest, Wild World Album, he produced that as, as well. Um, he's done many work for many artists. Marcy Griffiths, um, there's a lot of names, <laughs> you know, well, just the well, name. I, I know one I can't leave out, Miss Cynthia Slush. Yes, oh my gosh. <laughs> Yes. yes, 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 definitely. And Nadine Sutherland. Nadine. Yes, I had Nadine on a few weeks ago as yeah. well. Yeah. Yes, many, there's so many. So many, it's so nice. Um, and of course, uh, to my viewers, that's Willie Lindo, Heavy Beat Records is the label. Yes. If you want to go check out the music, Heavy Beat. Reggae.com. Reggae.com, mm -hmm. for sure. You got to go check that out. And uh, what's your social media so everybody can go check you out as well? Uh, my is Kashif Lindo, the Facebook, also Kashif Lindo, Instagram, and Kashif Lindo, Twitter, <laughs> if I'm saying it right. <laughs> like that. Something like that. Yeah, yeah, just, yeah, type, yeah. just type Kashif Lindo. And yeah, I'm... go find it. I know your people work for you, so, you know, I understand the thing. Some people forget their thing. Kashif mm -hmm. Lindo, you'll find it. Yeah. So how, um, okay, let's talk about, like, most memorable performance. I saw one on your Instagram, 1994 Japan Splash. The mm. crowd was like ants. Yeah. And again, you were young. Yeah, yeah. Would that you was. Say uh, that was that? How was that? Yeah, that was different. <laughs> <laughs> that was very different. Um, that I had a lot of fun. Um, it was with, uh, it was Snagapus, Barris Hammond, Tony Rebel. Freddie McGregor, Beanie Man, Pam Hall, and myself. Um, at a time, we, we were there for like over three weeks. Okay. And there were other artists too, but they split us in half to do one side and the other side. And then that show that you saw on YouTube, that was the main one where everybody, all 14 artists was performing on that one. And um, the experience is surreal, man. It's like every song you sing, they're singing it in English. Word for yeah. word. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's it's nuts. It's a lot of fun. Your adrenaline is high <laughs> yeah. you know, every time. So it's a great feeling, man. And to see them in full join the music is gives you goosebumps, you know? So Yeah, I yeah. remember the first time I was singing on stage and somebody was in front of me and sang the words. I forgot the words to my song. I got so excited. <laughs> I was like, I wanted to stop and say, hey, he's singing my song. <laughs> <laughs> That wasn't that many people at that time. That was a different, like a Bob Marley tribute. It wasn't big mm -hmm. like that. But would you say that was your most memorable performance or were there other ones? All of them are memorable to me. You know, yeah. they're different, but all of them are memorable in their own way. So I don't, yeah. I don't pick one amongst the other, you know? So I, all of them have a special moment for me. Yeah. So how do you decide like, I know you've done a lot of cover albums, but how do you decide which songs that you are going to do? Like, what makes you be drawn to certain covers? Well, I've done, I wouldn't say I've done a lot of covers. Um, I mean, probably earlier on, I did a few. And then later on, I started doing more original stuff. I mean, I mean, from back then, I was doing original stuff as well. But the cover songs, mostly, you know, my father picks them. You know, at that time I was very young, so I kind of got in, a little bit more involved when I when I was doing my my third or fourth album. And um, I believe it was What Kind of World. I remember I was listening to Off the Wall album, Michael Jackson. Yeah. And there was a song on there titled I Can't Help It. And the minute I heard that song for the first time, I said, I have to do this. So I presented it to my father. And I said, I want to do this song. I love this song. And he said, okay. And, mm -hmm. You know, so I picked one or two, you know, but for the most part, he, he picks them, you know, and say, them. study this. Yeah. <laughs> study oh, this but, song. And there's no time that you say, okay, I don't like this one. Or you just do it because um, God said. Yeah, I do it because he told me to do it. You know, <laughs> I, have my, I had my, in my earlier time, I did not want to do nothing. <laughs> 
just going to say, there's got to be one that you said, God, come on. I don't like this one. <laughs> yeah, I had, yeah, quite a few times like that in my early, you know, when I, when I was a lot younger, you know, yeah. um, that I <laughs> did not want to do anything. You know, he'll say, sing this. And I'm like, I don't, <laughs> but I'll still do it. <laughs> yeah, but what I mean is that you, when I say you don't want to do it, maybe because you're, you just don't want to do it. But did you ever find because you're younger, singing the older songs that he was drawing for you was that not your you know because we're young and we want to do the young thing and that mm -hmm. did you ever feel that no way? no because i i grew up listening to the older songs yeah so i'm not partial to you know like because i'm i'm young i'm gonna just listen to that i i my my music range is wide yeah you know? so yeah. Yeah. I, I grew up listening to older songs from even the sixties okay. and seventies. So. so it was it was more you're not you just wasn't in the mood and you had to say come I on. Just, I, man, I, at that time I just wanted to go play basketball. So. <laughs> <laughs> I was just gonna say that. Speaking of basketball, don't you throw a, a tournament every year? Yeah, actually, player? um yeah, um music meets sports. Um it's um Caribbean Select Basketball. We started in two thousand seventeen. Okay. Um, 18 and then the third, third one we did last year. Um, from that time till last year, it has picked up very, very quick, you know, and um, I give thanks for it. I have to shout out um, Joanna Marie, um, that's my partner, um, Melissa yeah. and so on, that um, is a major contribution to it, man. Um, I couldn't have done it without them. That whole thing started, um, I'm going to have to call out his name. Shout out to Rico, Rico Vibes. <laughs> So I'm gonna I'm have to call him out on this now. <laughs> so um, I, well, I was cheering for the flavor, you know, that's my fam. But then they got cheering? beat, and who I had to just go quiet. I was like, oh, okay. Who you were cheering for? I was. That's my that's my home. That's my radio station, the Flavor okay. Radio. So yeah. I was cheering for them, but they didn't bring it home. So I was like, I had to just hop. Oh. No, they weren't gonna do that. They were not going to do that. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, that that pretty much that pretty much started. Um, I did a show in Atlanta in seventeen, yeah, um, early two thousand seventeen, and um, he asked a question. Um, you know, he asked if I wasn't doing singing, what would I, you know, what would I do? And I told him, yeah. you know, one time basketball was in my head, you know, because at that time, um, when I was in school, you know, I always wanted to do basketball. You know, I was, you know, I was pretty good at it at the time. Yeah, um, still good, and um. And um, no, I'm just kidding. No, 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 no. <laughs> I was gonna ask you too, what would you do if you weren't singing? Now you already answered it. Yeah, um, it was on my head, <clears throat> yeah. And um, you know, he asked a question and he asked me if I could ball. I told him, You have to come and see, you know, yeah. And it just turned into a thing his team versus my team, he'll play yeah. me one on one. I'm still waiting on him to play me one on one, and we have not done that yet, but yeah. it worked out that you know, I pitched an idea to him, like I wanted to, you know, it was something I always wanted to do. You know, yeah. I thought about it for a long, long time that I wanted to, it'd be cool to do like a, a tournament with the Caribbean or some, something like that, you know? Yeah. Um, and he said, let's do it. You know, and I called Joanna Marie and wasn't asking, you know, I was just pitching something and she said, let's do it, let's do it. And yeah, that's how it became, that's how it came to life. You know, so. <laughs> so so you beat the flavor, and he didn't he didn't come back after that. No, no, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Rico. You have to be, okay, we'll stop by that Rico. Rico, no, is no, that, no. I got your back, Rico. boss. No <laughs> man, no man, we 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 want you to be like that. <laughs> He's just busy. He'll soon come back for you. Don't worry. <laughs> oh my gosh, too funny. Okay, we got. What does that actually the tournament do? You raise funds for? Yeah, it's um it's a charity event. So um when we did the well the first year wasn't the first, it was the second year we did it the the charity and um I'm trying yeah. to remember who it was for, but we did it for someone and now we have our own charity that we're forming right now. So okay. to help the schools in Jamaica. So Aww. yeah. So that's nice. Yeah, man. So yeah. I don't want to go, at, I mean, you have other albums, we're, we're going to get back to those, mm -hmm. but I wanted you to talk about, because I mean, or talk about some of the artists you like, obviously, Michael Jackson, I want to talk about your tribute mm -hmm. album, but what mm -hmm. are some of the other artists that you uh, look to, or like? Um, Stevie Wonder is one, um, Sam Cooke, 
definitely Sam Cooke. Um, my dad put me on to him and I can't, couldn't stop listening to him after that. So yeah. uh, Sam Cooke, you know, Marvin Gaye, um, Otis Redding. Um, I have to throw Barris in there because, yeah. you know, I classify Barris as, you know, I don't call anybody like a reggae singer or r and singer. I just call him an artist that sings this genre. I flip it yeah. the other way around, you know. Barris to me, because I grew up listening to Barris, I class him in that category with Michael and Sam and all of them, you know. So yeah. he, you know, and um, there's, there's a few more, but just, you know, just to name those, you know, that's who I listen to. I listen to every everybody <laughs> still, you know. Yeah. So yeah. any younger genre of music that you feel, some artists that are coming out now that you you gravitate to or you think are really doing well, in your opinion? Um, you know, you know, there's quite a few. I know Remain Virgo, um, Christopher Martin. This, um, there's a few more um, that that that's doing pretty well, which is great. You know, so yeah. I'm just looking forward to hearing more, more yeah. upcoming artists. You know, doing their thing. You know, yeah. so. Both yeah. for two of the artists. I like those two too. I love their voices. Yeah. <laughs> so what I want to know is because you're a Michael Jackson fan and um, how did you narrow down the album to pick what you wanted to pick of his songs? I know um, you probably could have went further, but you had to narrow it down. Yeah, it was tough. 18 barely fit on the CD because, you know, the, the length of the songs were pretty much just about the same length as the originals. And, yeah. Um, 18 uh, yeah it was, i mean it, it, it was kind of it wasn't that tough i mean there were some other ones i really wanted to do but obviously can't can put too many um yeah. but for the most part i think we we narrowed it down pretty good you know we got yeah. a few of them that we wanted on there so yeah it was good and i guess you you're gonna say you don't you don't have a favorite no i don't have a favorite and, I love all of them. And you can't tell me you didn't leave any out that you wanted to put on there, but you couldn't fit them? Yeah, I mean, shoot, if I could do almost all of them, I would do it, but I can't. I like, I like, I like the way you did Heal the World. Oh, thank it just, you. It's, it's really nice. I sometimes, I end my show with that song. Not oh, every time, but I've ended it a few times with that song. I really like that one. Oh, wow, wow. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> so um what is i actually you have a song out um too that has a video that's doing well um baby if i'm baby if i want you oh baby i'm gonna want you i'm gonna want you sorry i get that yeah. every time i want to say no, that i feel okay. like i'm that's saying okay. baby i'm gonna want you sorry yeah no no problem <laughs> no problem how's that one doing <laughs> no it, it was doing pretty well it was it did pretty well you know um that that song we recorded a few years back and um released it last year and decided to do a video for it so you know a lot of people gravitated to that one pretty well so i give thanks for that yeah but it's it's still doing good yeah so what's the other one um you did a christmas album mm -hmm. do you i mean you got 12 albums you think you could <laughs> run them down or would you remember no them? i can i can remember them i remember them oh um, you remember they, them oh yeah um uh first one I remember i did was push for your goal it's a children's album okay that's so, the one that was motivate playing. and help you know kids through school okay so I, I remember doing that first mm. and, you know and we're going back and forth with another album <laughs> you know so that i remember i was doing that first um i did the christmas album and my first first album that i put out was um trouble free that did very okay. well it did very very well so um, it charted in Japan and the U.S. And yeah, yeah, it did very well. And several hits on, on that album. Trouble Free was one of them. Um, yeah. I recovered Baby Why. Um, obviously, okay. First Cut is on there. And, you know, a few others, you know. So that was a pretty solid album. What's um, What one did you do? Was Many Rivers Cross on that album? Yes, yes, yes. Many Rivers yeah. Cross, that's another one. <laughs> that's, that's track. Yeah. No, actually, I have to admit, I haven't heard that. Cut, um, cut of yours I gotta listen to that one I got all your albums and I haven't got to all of them oh my gosh it's yeah. terrible no that's no problem I, I'm so glad I have all of them but I I need to listen to each one of them it's so much mm -hmm. um, to take in yeah but yeah <laughs> so yeah. what's after that one do you remember um 
Yeah, um, next one I did was um, Soul and Inspiration. Okay, um, I don't know how you remember all this. this one song on there, um, I Want Me Somebody, was also another hit here in Florida and, you know, elsewhere. You know, that did pretty well. And then the next one was um, an album that VP distributed. So that was the first album I did for VP Records, um, titled What Kind of World. And that album, now at that time, um, before the album came out the same year, 97, um, I released uh, another song that went big, um, No Can Do. So, okay. yeah, and that was on that album. And um, the next next album that I did, also for VP Records, was um, We Need Love. And we Need Love, that was your first original album? Yeah, all songs are original on that album. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, first original. And also it um, won the um, Reggae Soak Award for Best Album that same okay. year. Yeah, so I'm happy about that. <laughs> that was pretty cool, you know. Um, then after that, I did uh, um, another one for VP again, um, titled Love Knows the Way. Uh -huh. um, and then I did a um, next album titled Solid Soul. Which that you that's a cover. Singles, drop the singles that really. Let me drop some singles? singles. All right. Well, no, no. But when you say the albums, maybe like a, let us no, know I can do what that. singles yeah, off that um, album. So what? Um, let me go back. We need love. Yeah. Um, the song on there was um, give me strength. Okay. And the other song was while we're apart. That did very very well in Jamaica. I did a video for that song. That song, I think it went number one in Jamaica at the time when I released okay. it. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And then um, Love Knows the Way, a single on that one, um, I'm trying to remember the name. Um, what is it again? Oh, Where Do I Fit In? Uh -huh. Where Do I Fit In? That was that, that did pretty well. Um, there, there's a few on there that did pretty well. That album was very good. Um, that was all original as well. Okay. And then um, I did Solid Soul. Solid Soul now is a, um, a cover of um, old songs from back in the day, but it's not, the genre is not reggae. So we did it just like the original. So like we did Temptations, Just My Imagination, Chicago, You're the Inspiration, oh, um, nice. to name a few of them. Um, yeah, so that was a pretty, that was a pretty cool album in a short space of time because um, I was working on my other album and my father told me, stop, <laughs> study these songs. And some of them I knew, you know, so he's like, we're going to just, oh. he just said, he just felt like doing this right now. And it was somewhere around October. And, you know, I, you know, we built the track. So it was from studio B to studio A, you know, building the track there, then going over there to transfer it. And then voice in 2, 3 a.m. in the morning. So it was like this. And then we released yeah. it in December. <laughs> wow. So, yeah. So that one was that one was very good. Um, the next one I put out five years after now was um, um Keep On Keeping On. So that 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 did pretty well. Um I remade the um song How Can We Use the Pain by Maxi Priest and Barry Simon. Oh so, nice. yeah, that's that's, that's a nice song. song. I Did your love dad that. do that one? Yeah, that was on that was on the that was on the that was on the same um Wild World album. Okay. That song. Yeah, that song's nice. Yeah, it's a beautiful song. That was a song I always loved when I heard it um when they were doing it in Jamaica at the yeah. time. And um I, I told them I would want to do this song over. I love always loved it. And you know, it did something here in Florida too, man. It did something. Yeah. So, um um there, there's a few there's a few others that, that did pretty well on that album. So uh, um, the next one now is um, Outtake. Outtake. Yeah. What number, what number album we at now? Well, I think I skipped one. <laughs> I think I skipped one, but I could get back to that. Um, Outtake. I just um, can't believe you remember that. I tell yeah. you, all, I can't remember what happened last week. Yeah, Outtake has the, the um, two songs you, you spoke about earlier. Um, uh -huh. Music is a part of me and Girl If You Want To is on that album. Yeah. Yeah, so, I like that one. Yeah, that one. Um, and then, um, and then um, the last album I put out was um, a reggae tribute to Michael Jackson. So that one, 
Yeah. <laughs> But didn't you, you weren't you saying that you did like back to the tribute album to Michael, you did say there was other tracks that you wanted to get on there though. Because I mean, you you have so many songs by him. You must have had some that you wanted to get on there, he said. Yeah. Um, another part of me was one. Uh -huh. Well, there's, there's a, there was a few, you know, you know, but for the most part, like I said, what we have on there was was good selections you know did you do so, pretty young thing no it was on my mind but no I yeah i li i like that one <laughs> that was yeah. my song <laughs> yeah yeah that that was on my mind that was on my mind so yeah but, but what what we what i what we tried to do with that album was go on go on each album that he did including yeah. his early years you know with the jackson five um was pick maybe one or two songs from each yeah you know? So did that with Off the Wall, did that with Thriller, um, with the Bad Album, Dangerous Album, you know, and so on. So, yeah, so we, we picked some good selections, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you won a Tamika Award before. Best Male in yeah. the Yeah, I did. That was, I think it was some in the late 90s, I believe. I won, I won that Outstanding Male Award or something. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's funny that I, I posted a picture not too long ago, uh, a throwback of me and my dad and on my page, and that was the Tamika Awards way back in ninety. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. wow. <laughs> That's why when I saw Tamika Awards, they're like, "Oh my gosh, that brought back memories for me." Wow. <laughs> yeah. So, what is next for you now? I know that you're all you're you live in the studio, so. I know you're just not working on your own stuff. You you continue to work with your dad side by side. Um, mm -hmm. Anything you're doing on your own or producing um, alongside him? Um, I, yeah, I'm actually um, working with my brothers, Bridge and them. Um, okay. Some different things. Um, this um, production is called FFY, which means Friends for Years. That's what it stands for. <laughs> so why friends for years. Yeah, so we've done quite a few things already. Um, we actually released a, a EP or album with seven tracks on it, and pretty much is like an introduction to our production, what we're about, and it has different types of genres on it. So it's not just reggae, you know, it's reggae. If you want to call it R and B or anything, you know, we're just making music and just creating some new different things. So that's that's what I'm working on with them for the past few years now. So, and uh, yeah, I wanna just give a shout out to them. Big up to my brothers, my FFY crew, respect. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's, yeah. I know they're the crew, but what's their um, artist name go by? Like some solo right. Well, Echo Slim. Um, yeah, I've known Echo Slim for many, many years. That's my brother. Um, he also worked on, um, he um, had a song on Coffee's album that won the Grammy. Okay. So, yeah, so he did um, Throne. They produced it. Um, Echo Slim, Nico Rebel, also an FFY crew, and nice. Sean Alaric. So they, those three produced uh, that song for um, Coffee on there. But um, Echo Slim, um, Nico Rebel, shout out to Nico Rebel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, Bottles, Bottles Belafonte, for sure. Big up, big up, big up. And um, Alexander Starr, Alexander Starr. So I heard, uh, I heard his stuff. He sound, I like his sound. Yeah, no, he's very, very good. Very, very good. Yeah. Solid artist, man. Um, how do they get in contact with um, those artists as well? Or FFY, you said? Yeah, FFY. But they have their own, um, you know, social media. Alexander Starr, Echo Slim, Nico Rebel Music, and Bottles Belafonte. So we'll have something up for you guys shortly. So be on the lookout. Oh. <laughs> be on the lookout. <laughs> so what's that mean? Does that mean like solo Kashif Lindo gets on hold? What's going on there? No, 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 no. Never. Okay, never, okay. never, never. No, no. <laughs> oh, okay. No, no, man. no I, I, have, I have. I'm I have just going to see dad come around the corner in the studio there and say, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 man. Um, and actually, um, actually working on some things for myself right now. So I'm actually going to release um, a few more singles and then possibly drop an album. We're trying to drop it this year. Um, if not, then next year, you know, so that's on the works. 
Oh, so that's all we get. No big secrets. No, uh, no, no, <laughs> no. no collabs that we can tell I'm anybody not about. Saying, not Nothing saying under anything. the box. No, no. We get it hopefully before the end of the year. We'll, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> I, I tried, everybody. I tried. Yeah, it's going to stay in the box. Yeah, that's okay. that's okay because I know when it's ready to come out the box, it's going to be fire. So yeah. <laughs> I'll wait patiently. I'll wait patiently. Uh-huh. So what about Nikisha? Now, I uh, if I'm wrong, your sister Nikisha Lindo, does mm-hmm. she, have you guys done any collabs together? I know yes, of her. We so have. Yes, we have. Um, I remember the first time uh, we did something. Um, I'm trying to remember the song. Um, there's a few of them. We did Young, Gifted, and Black together. Oh, I never, I got to look for that one. Mm-hmm. We did Young, Gifted, and Black. We did, um, I'm trying to remember the other one. Oh, we did a song called Small Change. That's on um, oh, the yes. Nice and Rough nice and rough album. Yeah. Um, volume 7. Um, we did, she collabed with me on the Michael Jackson project on two songs. We collabed okay. on I'll Be There and um, Men of War. So, oh. yeah. Yeah, I know. I'm listening. You know, now you got me. I have to go back and listen again. Because <laughs> yeah. I do. I played Small Change in that. Don't, I didn't remember that one. Yeah, a lot of people on that song were saying just my name. And I'm like, no. I said it was me and my sister yeah. Nikisha that sung it. So they're, they're, you know, they're listening to both of the voices. They're, you know, they sound very close. Yeah, well, you guys do sound the same. That's you know? why I said small change. I felt foolish because I said I played that song. How did I not mm-hmm. remember that? Yeah, but listen to, you can hear, you can still hear a little distinction. So, yeah. but it's close. Yeah, you got that <laughs> soft close. one. Mm-hmm. Is there any other, like, covers that, I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know. I hear you doing a Bruno Mars track. Oh, wow. well, I don't know which one, but I just hear that when I hear you sing it. That's why I, I heard someone else said that to me too um, a while back. Yeah, um, you never know. <laughs> yeah, because when I see when I see him perform, I mm-hmm. see like he obviously it's Michael Jackson. Though, right? That's who I see. Obviously, okay. he's the one who, he likes Michael Jackson too. You can see it, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. I just I hear you singing those covers. Oh, the cover songs, yeah. No, he has I mean, have to good do it, like, maybe just listen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you, you're the big producer, so I'm sure you know what you want to do and what you don't want to do. So who is who is some I know your dad works on um with a lot of artists, but is there any artist that you would like to work with, collab with? Mm. Don't worry, you don't have to give away what's the upcoming thing. You can just say. No, no, not doing that. <laughs> it's not happening, you know, and it's not for yeah. this thing, you know. I just um, <laughs> oh, wow. It could be in any genre or just. Anything, right? any, anything. Um, wow. I would love to do something with Stevie Wonder. Wow, that would be nice. I would love to do that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, I'm trying to think. Uh, see, my head. See, I have so many names off the top of my head. Oh my gosh, yeah. Brian McKnight. Oh, he's another one. Brian have McKnight. you covered any of his songs? I have actually um, on the Outtake album. Um, this okay. Song called Anytime. Oh. Uh, yeah, I did that. Um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh wow. Brian Freeze. No, I'm trying. Uh, there's there's quite a few. Yeah. Uh, wow. Normally, oh. when you'd say that to somebody, they know right away. It's like yeah, no. Pressure bus pipe. Ah, uh, he's the love pressure. Pressure bus pipe. Yeah. For sure. Um. Uh. Oh wow, it's a lot. Uh, Usher. I always oh. followed Usher. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Wow, this is tough. <laughs> 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 I have so many- you know what? I, sometimes you got to put it out there. You never know who's watching, right? Sometimes yeah. it's like one little thing you say, and then it's like, oh, you know, I never knew that. Not that yeah. you couldn't just reach out to them anyways. Right. But you but never know. Stevie, never know. Stevie Wonder definitely is on the top, top list. <laughs> For sure. And then producing wise, because I know you produce, is there anybody that you could say that, you know, I want to work with that artist and put that artist out to be seen? 
anyone that you kind of see out there that you would like take a liking to and maybe want to let them be heard or seen? Oh, you mean, oh, anyone that's out now? Yeah. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, um, right now, um, can't think of any. I mean, I would pretty much work with anyone as long as, you know, the energy is there. So I, I, I mainly focus on, you know, the energy card. That's what it's about for me. You know, yeah. I mean, once the chemistry is there, then that's cool. But on the production side, um, I'm, I, I'm, I haven't gone full blown like that yet because, you know, singing is my primary thing and yeah. you know, will always be that, you know, until I decide I'm gonna not do it anymore, but which I can't see that happening. But, but, um, but um, for most of the part, um, I, I'll work with anyone as long as the, the vibe is right. You know, so. so as long as they're not off key. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying that was a, no, I'm, I'm not... laughing because I said, it, but you know, it must be a pressure being in the studio when you're working with a Willie Lindo and then yourself, you know, for artists when they come uh, yeah, in. I know. mean, you work with veteran artists, obviously, but I'm sure there's a few that come in that get a little nervous being in the booth. I mean, and, and you're critiquing them because I mean, you and your dad, you know what's what. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I, I've seen it from artists. You know, like especially when my dad is there. You know, you know. And <laughs> so, but they have nothing to worry about. So yeah, you have to, you have to, you have to get them ready before they go in because they, you know, what it's like to deal with that, right? <laughs> <laughs> but no, but the, it, for the most part, it, it's all good. So. Yeah. You're, in, you're, in, you're in great hands, trust me. Yeah. Yeah. I make a joke because I was in the studio working in Jamaica and I say this, I can sing. And when you kind of look up to other artists, right. I'll give you an example. I was singing, Lukey D walked in the studio and I froze. <laughs> and he was laughing. I was working with Bob York and he, I froze and he was just laughing because we know each other. I said, I don't know. As soon as you came in, I couldn't sing anymore. Right, I got right. Because, like, if I make one mistake, Luke is yeah. going to say, What at? <laughs> yeah, I hear you. <laughs> it was just um. funny. Oh my God. But I mean, you're, you've always been an artist in your own right. But just tell me, and I know you don't get stuck in this. Um, what are some of the songs that you lent your vocals to as background vocals? Oh, the background. Um, well, in my earlier time, um, yeah, I remember one song that comes to mind. Well, I did, you know, on Barris, some of Barris stuff. Yeah. Um, Garnet Silk on Mama Africa. I did the background yeah. for that. Yeah. <laughs> So, that's why that's why I say this because you, okay <laughs> you're you're humble about it and I know you're not you don't want to be classified as a background vocalist but your vocals no. completed some hit tunes and made them sound sweet like Mama Africa Garnet Silk that's like mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> yeah yeah I, back then I did quite a few of that you know and mostly for like you know heavy beat crew and stuff so but, uh, and and also you know for myself you know but um yeah yeah I don't talk much on that. <laughs> yeah, I know you. That's why I said you're an artist in your own yeah. right. But I had to yeah. say that because, like mm -hmm. I said, they're big songs. Yeah. And I know I've worked with some um, background vocals, and I'm like, wow, you know, I hear them, and I, to me, they sound better than me. And I'm like, why aren't you singing up front? You know, <laughs> and it's like. <laughs> They just sweet the song up, you know. They're just so good that way. And I, mm -hmm. I said, I, I, I'm gonna say one person who I'm talking about is Nikki Bolt. It used to be Nikki Burke. She sings oh, background okay. for Butch Banton on the road, and right. she sang on my song, and it just blows me away, like the talent, you know. And you just wonder why they're not up singing lead, which mm -hmm. she is an artist in her own right as well. But you know, they she enjoys doing the background, but. Yeah, I just have to let people know what you did. I know there's more, so I don't know why you just don't say the other few that you have. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I did, I did for. Um, uh, I'm trying to remember Marcy Griffiths, uh, Jimmy Riley. You know, there, there's, there's a few. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah. <laughs> you remember the song from Marcia? Which one was there? Was there? Um, it was. It was really for um, Heavy V pro uh, on our product. Um, yeah. Um. Um. Uh, there's, there's a few of them. There's a few of them. <laughs> I know. I'm asking you to go. Like I'm so wrong right now. I told you I can't remember what happened last week. I'm yeah. making you go back to all these, but again, you sweet up the music with the vocals. Uh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Garnet Silk was one of my favorite vocalists. Yeah. Like yeah. gone too soon. Like I just love Garnet Silk. Yeah. And I, I I feel to this day that he doesn't get the respect he deserves. I still feel mm -hmm. like that. Yeah, he, 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 he would have been very, very big, man. Like, oh, trust me, the little time he was here, he did so much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he know, did. And made such an impact. He did. Yeah. So, um, what's uh, you have Heavy Beat? Tell all the social media. You have Heavy Beat as well. They can follow on Instagram. Yes, um, Heavy Beat Reggae on Facebook. And it's Heavy Beat. Heavy Beat Records, I'm sorry. Heavy Beat Records on Facebook. Heavy Beat Records official on Instagram. And, you know, heavybeatreggae.com, which is our website. You know, music store. You can buy our products there. Yeah. Heavybeatreggae.com. And also, you could check um, iTunes for our yeah. products as well. All digital outlets, you know, our products is there. And what's the latest? Um, I just got an album from you, the Glenn Washington album. Mm -hmm. That's the latest one. That's the latest album right now. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's a very nice album, man. <laughs> yeah. Very nice album. Big up Glenn. <laughs> yeah, I got a big up Glenn. Glenn and yeah. I go way back, so I yeah. was glad to see that album come out. He's doing yeah, his man. Thing. Yeah, right. Long time he's been singing. He was drumming originally. Yeah. And now yeah. he come up to lead vocalist on things. Yeah. You can't hold him back now. No. <laughs> yeah. yeah. People don't realize that, you know, he was he was a really big drummer. Mm -hmm. You know. Oh, that's so, facts. So again, we can expect something coming before the year's up. Yeah. Secret. Yeah. But shortly. For that. Shortly. 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 <laughs> Yeah. Uh, you're saying a few singles out. Um, I know you say people can contact you through um, uh, Kashif Lindo, but is there anywhere else that people can book you besides there that you would like well, to direct them to? To book, to book um, me, um, you go through Heavy Beat Records. You could go to heavybeatrecords at gmail.com. Um, that's our email address. And but when you go to um, heavybeatreggae.com, all info is there. Everything, social media, everything is there. You, all all of our contacts is there on heavybeatreggae.com. Okay. And 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 if somebody want dub plate too, right? You notice, you yeah. notice how I said that nice with a smile, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You gotta gotta contact um, Heavy Beat. Yeah. I can't even say, it. let me give you love. <laughs> I'm waiting, I'm putting it out there, people. As I told him, I know it's an older song, but I heard that and I can't stop that tune. It's just, oh, <laughs> by a pull up. I know people listening to the show probably say, you know, oh, that's an old one. I don't care. I just, I just got familiar with it. So I pulled it up like three, four times. That's it. My that's my tune now. When I like something, I stay on it. Uh, yeah. If you want to, same thing. I was like stuck on that tune for Weeks. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Rishi love it. Rishi love it. Thank oh, you. Oh, I know. I love that. Live with love. I love that. Yeah. I always yeah. see you write that and it, it's very yeah. nice. And well, now I know the background, your first song, Live with Love. I get yeah, it. Now. That I, I mean that plays a role, but more importantly, just simply what it says. Live with it. Live with love. Yeah. Yeah. You're just always happy. Message. And, yeah. and I, I love your vibes. Oh, respect. <laughs> yeah, you're just cool. I just I, I appreciate you. And again, Kashi, thank you so much for being on the show. I really appreciate it. I really oh, anytime, man. Thank you for having me. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> I know we were supposed yeah. to do this a long time, but yeah. birthday was coming up, and I'm I said I'm gonna have you the okay. day after your birthday. Okay. Right? <laughs> gotcha. Okay. I had to say I I always have to do it on special occasions. That's just me. 
Cool, cool. <laughs> Much respect, man. <laughs> yeah, and again, I hope you enjoyed your birthday. And oh, I wish you all the best in all you do. You deserve the best. And just keep doing what you're doing, man. Like you say, live with love. Hey, will do. Will do. <laughs> Always. <laughs> Thanks again yeah. for being on the show. No this problem. show can also be heard on the Barn Burner Radio Network on its 122 platforms. Please check out barnburner.ca for all the news. Barn Burner, watch it, hear it, read it, download it, live it. It's the Tanya Mulling Show here. Have a blessed evening. I'll catch you next week. Same time, same place. All right. Bye. Blessings. <laughs>